Slashness' new album at the moment, so I thought it'd be appropriate if we looked at one of the riffs from the album. Now, I already had a video up for this where I was playing this riff all on the B string, uh, but now I've had more time to think about it. And uh, when I was transcribing it, I kind of looked at the different ways we could do it, and playing it on the G and B strings, I initially thought it was a little bit kind of awkward compared to playing it on the single string. The problem with playing it on the single string was you have that big stretch. Um, and it's a kind of, you know, when you're transcribing things like that and you haven't seen the artist actually perform it, it really is kind of open to interpretation. And I kind of thought, well, the stretch, you know, you don't tend to see Slash do too big kind of stretches. It's a bit more of a kind of classic Jimmy Page kind of influence sort of player. So, yeah, I was wondering about it. Now that I've had a bit more time to think about it, I think what we'll do is we'll look at playing it on the G and B strings. Um, so what we have is um, we've got this little repeating idea at the 10th and 12th frets in the B strings. And what we're going to be doing is we always play a note in the B string, then play the open B string after it. So the first kind of four notes go... So what I'm doing is 10th fret of the B string with the first finger, then open B string, then I play 11th fret of the G string there. Okay. And then the fourth note there, I play third fret, uh, sorry, third finger, 12th fret of the B string. So that kind of goes. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's my kind of little 10 to 12. Then I go back to 10, so it goes 10. And what I did there is I just played open B string, then 11th fret the G with the second finger, and then first finger plays 10th fret the B there. So as I said, I'm kind of alternating between this 10 and 12. So you do 10, 12, 10, 12, and then this little bit here, I'm going to go. So what I'm doing, my first finger is going to shift 10 to 9, and open B string. And my middle finger plays 11th fret of that uh, G string. And that's kind of the end of the, the kind of bar, that phrase. So it kind of goes. And that downstroke on that 10 on the B string there starts it all over again. Now, picking wise, uh, what I'm doing here personally, as I said, I mean, you could alternate pick all this. I'm using a little bit of economy picking. So what I'm doing is down, up, up, down. So I'm kind of doing down, up, up, down. So I'm kind of always doing this down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, kind of picking motion, which is more of a kind of economy picking type idea. If you're using alternate picking, you know, it'd be down, up, down, up. Be, you know, everything's strictly down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you can have a little play around with the picking to see which kind of feels comfortable. But that's, you know, as I said, you know, if I had to hedge my bets, I would probably put it on, you know, that's the way he kind of plays it. But we'll know finally. You know, he's hooked up with Ultimate Guitar and there's some official tabs coming out. So we'll see what they reveal.